Hello everyone and welcome back to the third channel. Today we're doing another episode of Children's Hour where we talk about children's shows from the past, present and future. What I mean by that is that the past is children's show from my childhood and, and further back and future is of the modern children so it's like a lot of things like blend into each other these days and talk about what is the future of children's TV and first of all before we get into the main topic of today's video, let's talk about um, the death of children on TV. There was a documentary about it a few years ago, and the only thing that annoyed me about it, it was made by BBC4, is there's a section where the theme tune and the title sequence to the BBC version of The Chronicles of Narnia plays, as she's talking about the voiceover woman, talking about the programme, Grange Hill. Why? I have no idea. They did a similar thing in a Jack and Nori documentary where the when they were talking about a selection of different actors they've done Jack and Nori, on the screen what you were looking at while you were hearing all these names you read out was Patricia Routledge who played Mrs. Bouquet or Mrs. Bucket depends on well, no, it is Mrs. Bucket, but she pronounced it Mrs. Bouquet. In the IT, in the BBC sitcom Keeping Up Appearances, there's having one of those remembering documentaries out this week. So, let's talk about our main topic. If you see me looking down, it's because my phone is down here, and that is connected to this, because the port where the video assist, which is a monitor that allows me to make sure I'm still recording in frame, is no longer working on the camera but is going to be fixed in a couple of weeks so I have to look down to make sure that I am still recording and I'm still in frame so if you see me looking down I do apologise I'll try and do it as subtly and at least as possible today we're talking about the uh, element of Saturday morning TV so I know that YouTube and my fans and people that watch this are not just British so let's just explain what Saturday morning TV is to a non-British audience. So in Britain, our Saturday morning TV is, or was, Dick and Obi the Mungo, uh, Tiz Was, SMTV Live, Live and Kicking, uh, The Saturday Morning Show, um, Basil, Brush, Basil and Barney Swap Shop, Multicolored Swap Shop, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss one, but they're British. They're like three hour, two hour programs for the ITV or for the non BBC audience. It's got adverts in the middle of it. For the BBC audience, a few of them had cartoons uh, plastered or TV program plastered in between them so that they could change the sets and antics. What a shoe! In America, for any British audience, I'm wondering, Tom, what do you mean for non British audiences? Are we the only ones that had Saturday morning TV? Or well, no. In America, it was cartoons on a Saturday morning. I don't know about anywhere beyond America, because that's how much I know at this moment. I will do more international research that way. But today we're talking about Saturday morning TV in a sense of... I've just watched today, yesterday, uh, Saturday, today Sunday. I watched, well, because I am really, really love... Saturday morning TV like Tiz was, well, my, my, when I was, well Tiz, there was Tiz, well Tiz, the, the most famous ones in, in, in history of all time is Tiz was, Dick and Dumb in the Mongolia, SMTV Live, and Multicolored Swap Shop. Uh, Live and Kicking is, is in there, Going Live, um, a few more will pop into my head during this, but, there's a website, um, I can't think what it's called now, I do apologise, that, did a really good documentary about them, as in the website links to a Vimeo, Vimeo, which is a professional website for video people, um, who he made a documentary about Saturday Morning TV, it's cracking, I recommend it, but that's not for now. So, Saturday Morning, Saturday Morning Mashup, Saturday Mashup, sorry, what is and was a program that was filmed in Glasgow and had has ha had a wide selection of different hosts during its time. So it started um, started re years ago now, when when I was uh, slightly younger than I am now. Well, I say slightly, a lot younger than I am now. And it still exists to this day. 
and um, we've had this permanent team uh, it's like blue peter presenters like the church they, they swap out every so often but this uh, team at the moment have been around for quite a while so when i was watching the new series i i already knew that um the reason why i want to limit this year is because I'm, I'm gonna come back to that so dictum in the bungalow was a program where the bungalow heads which were children were playing in games and challenging and doing all sorts and being chucked out with custard which was called creamy muck muck and at the very end they had a creamy muck muck fact but the thing that is is relevant for this whilst we're talking about Saturday Mashup is I think his last name is Chapman. So it's Dave Chapman did the um puppeteering for Dick and Dumb and the Mungle. He was um the cat that sang ready I'm gonna I'm gonna say the words in the musical style but I'm not gonna sing because I can't sing ready. Stoke on Trent where is the cat that says where and Dick and Dom would say, Where have you been this week? And the and the cat would say, Well, I've been to a wonderful place called Stoke on Trent. And he would sing the song Stoke on Trent, which is available on the uh, Dick and Dom music album that is still available um, on Amazon. Weird, I know. And so it's a really good song. And that's Dave Chapman. So Dave Chapman and Dave Chapman also did a lot the I think it's Dave Chapman that did all the music as well, all the like um identity um jingly musics where the where if they were doing um a game we would have a music and some imagery to move it on like uh I don't know. I can't think of what it's not in my head but but it's it was a transition point to turn it through. So I was watching Saturday Mashup and I already knew that Stanley which is Saturday Mashup's puppet, which used to be Hacker T Dog, and then they realised that Hacker was best suited in the CBC uh, office HQ studio space, still, where he's been for the last 15 years. But Stanley is puppeteered by da Dave Chapman, and so I think, and I could be wrong, but if I am wrong, let me know in the comment section down below, or in the comment section of wherever you want to, if you know, but I think that. If I'm not mistaken, that he also does the music for the show because there's um oh the draw I think it's the one where the the game I can't remember the name of the game but it's the game where they have to draw where the parents do a faint outline on their child's back not in pen or anything but with their finger of the um, drawing and then the kids in front have a um, whiteboard have to draw on the whiteboard what they think is trying to be drawn on their back and I think that game the music to that I think that is Dave Chapman again whoever it is even if it might not be Dave Chapman it still is the uh, makers of Dick and Number the Mungo and that's why no matter what age you are Saturday Mashup is for you because it will remind you of the days of the new slime now instead of Custard rebranded to creamy muck muck, they use slime to slime the people. So I think in the history of Saturday morning TV, we had Tiswells with whipped cream custard pie type things um, and water. We've got Dick and the Mungo with creamy muck muck. Well, that was the only element they used to throw at the children and everyone else. By the end of it, they were all covered in creamy muck muck. I don't know what they're wearing. Um, for instance, it was a sketch. I'm going to call it a sketch, but it isn't a sketch. It's a segment called Question and Muck, where Melvin or Doom is pretending to be the host, and in the end of it, they all get covered in muck, uh, creamy muck muck, um, which is technically just custard, but that's beside the point. As we come towards the end of this video, the Saturday morning has survived because of Saturday mashups still existing. So I think the element of it existed and surviving works. It I don't think it's as popular as its predecessors, like TMI Friday, which went to Saturdays, um, and TMI was called. Then they moved it to a Friday called TMI Friday, and obviously it was on a Friday, but it was still in the element of the Saturday morning element. And I think that Saturday morning TV does exist and will still exist for years to come. I one day I hope to make my own Saturday morning TV on Twitch or on YouTube. Uh, I just have to work out a 
what to do and be how to do it on the budget in the environment with the equipment with the people with the things i've got at hand i have to work out a way of making that possible so i want to make it a tis was dickens and the bungle or hybrid mashup blue peter mashup thing so that it's something unique interesting but remind you of that time of watching those shows so there you have it what's your opinion on the saturday morning tv whether or not you're in the uk or the us or anywhere else in the part of the world let me know what your memories of saturday morning tv is in the, let me know in the comments down below or here on youtube or wherever this video has been shared thank you guys for watching bye